And now we're taking a closer look at the ionic radius, the radius of the ion as opposed to the atom. And notice there's two types of ions. There is the cations and there are the anions. Cations are positively charged ions. Anions are negatively charged ions and they behave differently. So let's take a look at the cations first. So let's say we start off with a lithium atom, which has three protons in the nucleus, two electrons in the innermost energy level, and a third electron in the second level. So this would be the first s orbital, the second s orbital. Notice the, the radius is 152 picometers, meters, which means it's a fairly large atom. The reason why it's so large is that the electrons in the innermost energy level partially screen out the nucleus from the third electron and therefore that electron doesn't feel as much pull and ends up being much further away from the nucleus as it zips around the nucleus at very high speeds. Once we remove the electron, therefore causing the lithium not to become a lithium ion, positive, positive one charge, notice then that the electron is gone. We now have three positive charges pulling on two electrons at the innermost energy level. It's a lot of force pulling them in, making the atom fairly small, only at 59 picometers. Now let's take a look at beryllium, which is the next element on the periodic table. It has four electrons, two in the innermost energy level, two in the second energy level. And so the radius of beryllium is 111 picometers as opposed to 152 for lithium. It has one additional charge in the nucleus, same screening effect with two electrons at the innermost energy level, so therefore the additional positive charge pulls harder on the two electrons on the outside, pulling them in closer, making for a smaller atom. But what happens when you remove both of those electrons? Now you have four positive charges in the nucleus pulling on just these two electrons, and so you can see that they get pulled a lot, a lot more strongly by this additional positive charge, pull them into such a point that the radius of that ion is now 27 picometers instead of 59. So it makes a huge difference. So this, of course, is beryllium with uh, a positive 2 charge, meaning it's doubly ionized, and therefore a very large positive charge at the nucleus pulling on just those two electrons, pulling it in very, very tightly. But you can see the effect of ionizing uh, atoms into positive ions, cations, causing the radii of those ions to be much, much smaller than they are when they were simply atoms. So for cations, they typically become much smaller in size as opposed to their original atoms. And on the next video, we'll take a look and see what happens to anions, negative ions, and you expect the opposite to happen. Well, let's take a look and see what happens.